Are you ready to rip your hair out because your MacBook has slowed down to a snail's pace? Does your iMac take 10 minutes to boot up in the morning? Does your slow Mac give you ulcers? Have you crawled all over the interwebs trying to figure out how to breathe fresh life into those dying slimy fish lips? If you want to revive your old Mac as cheaply as possible, this video is for you. Here's the video's big idea. An external SSD hard drive just might revive your Mac. Have you been deleting files until the cows came home? Downloaded CC Cleaner? Tried to figure out how to defrag your Mac? Have you loaded up your Mac with 2,000 gigabytes of RAM? Have you lugged your iMac into the Mac store to see if your hard drive's failing? Are you about to pulverize your computer with a sledgehammer? Are you about to betray your Mac and throw it on Kijiji in the hopes that some poor Apple fanboy will take it off your hands and give you a bit of money to put towards an affordable, fast PC? Stop! Don't do it unless you have a lot of money. There is hope for your old vagabond degenerate Mac. So what's the deal? Old Mac computers come with disk drives that spin. HDD. They get tired. They get slow. It's time to kick your old HDD hard drive to the curb, ladies and gents. You can pimp out your computer to the gills, but if the hard drive is slow, it'll remain slow forever. I have a late 2012 iMac. It had become incredibly slow, painfully slow, awful, lots of RAM, nothing really helped until this. This is an external SSD hard drive. And it's great. Mine happens to be a SanDisk Extreme one terabyte hard drive. And I will link it in the description below, along with another popular choice, because hey, we got to have some choices. So here's what you do, step one you buy an external SSD drive. Make sure you get one that's more than large enough to serve your needs so you don't run out of space. Now technically, you can buy an internal SSD hard drive and get it installed in your Mac. Um, either you can try doing it by yourself or get a repair shop, um, but it is a bit risky. Mac does not make things easy and they would love for you to come in and buy their overpriced products and um, pay for the overpriced service. So if you can afford it, go ahead, but this is about trying to save you money. And so the external drive, it's not gonna be as fast as an internal drive, but it's gonna be way faster than your old HDD drive. Step two, you plug in your new SSD hard drive. Mine came with USB 3.0. Super easy, you plug it in. Although, if you're like me, it takes you about five tries just to get a USB plug it plugged in properly, even though there's only two options. And I know I'm not the only one. Step three, you format your new SSD drive to make it compatible with your Mac. Step four, you clone your existing HDD drive, the main drive on your Mac, over onto your new SSD drive. I use Carbon Copy Cloner and it worked fantastic. It made it really easy. You can also use the disk utility to do this. And I attempted this a little bit uh, and I just found it too confusing and Carbon Copy Cloner made it really easy, so I will link Carbon Copy Cloner down in the description. Totally free to use, love it. Step five, after the cloning has completed, set your new SSD drive to be your boot drive. Basically, that means that it's gonna be the drive that your computer's operating off of. Step six, restart your computer. Bob's your uncle, you're good to go. Um, and after this, if you want, you can delete your old hard drive. Um, you can format it and you can still use it assuming it was functioning before and it's basically like an extra storage device right on your computer. And then you'll just have to remember that um, once you've done this, you're gonna need to always have this drive with you. Um, like if you're using a MacBook, this drive's always gonna be needed in your computer or your computer's not gonna run without this um, if it is your uh, boot drive. And if it's iMac, super easy, just plug it in the back and never unplug it. Let's do this. Here's the breakdown of how to get zipping. So what I'm doing here in this part of the video is just showing you how slow my Mac was originally uh, before I put the new hard drive in. And if you don't wanna watch this cause it is pretty painful, just skip ahead. And this uh, is sped up a lot.
So we're like at almost two and a half minutes and it has not booted up yet. It's about three quarters of the way through. And at about three minutes, we're finally getting my wallpaper up. And she's chugging away. We got some icons. So that's about three minutes and 20 seconds. And we're finally in the game. Ain't great. So I'll just show you the specs of the Mac that I've been, that I did this project on. We've got a 27 inch iMac. And as you can see, it's super slow. I'm <laughs> just trying to <laughs> open up the properties. So we got a 2.9 gigahertz, 24 gigs of RAM. And that's really all I think I need to show you. One terabyte hard drive. Got about 200 gigs free at the moment. And the memory is 24 gigabytes. Um, pretty decent. I had upgraded that a long time ago. All right, let's see how long Lightroom takes to open. Look at that icon bouncing. That is not a beautiful thing. That's a bad thing. So 20 seconds, it's still bouncing away like crazy. Finally, at like 28 seconds, we get the window opening and now we are getting closer. Now it's still trying to pull up the photo. Okay, so like 50 seconds. Uh, that's not great. So now this part of the video, I'm just gonna show you uh, with a piece of software called Blackmagic. Um, it's a, it'll check your disc speed. So again, just a ton of bouncing, just trying to open up this simple little program to do the disc speed test. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what all these numbers mean here, but we're around 22 megabytes per second on the disc on the right side and like 21 on the read side. So that ain't great. All right. So at this point we've got our new external SSD hard drive. It's plugged into a USB port in our computer and we're ready to go. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to format your SSD drive so that it's in a format that is compatible with your Mac. And I used carbon copy cloner and I'll put a link for this software in the description below. Uh, it's great software. It's free to use. Works great. Really simple. And basically what you're going to do with this software is you're going to format your drive as I mentioned, and then it's going to make an exact copy of your old slow hard drive and copy everything over onto your new SSD drive. So that's going to be like an exact duplicate. So all your programs are going to be there. All your files are going to be there. Your desktop's going to look the same. Everything it's just a clone. Exactly what it says works really well. So I'll just show you how to download this software. You can just follow along. It's super simple and you probably don't need help, but you can see what I'm doing here just in case you have any questions about that. Oh, we can just click don't check and a trial is going to work perfectly fine for what we need it to do. So we've got source here on the left side. So we're going to, that's going to, the source is obviously the hard drive, our existing hard drive where all our information is. So under there, you're going to select your iMac drive or whatever it's called. And then your destination is obviously going to be your your new SSD drive. So whatever you happen to name it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to format the drive so that the Mac can read and write on it. And on the left, you'll see different kind of drives. So you're going to have to find your drive and pick the top layer there. So those are the settings you're going to want to use. You're going to want to use a Mac OS extended journaled under the format and for the scheme, it's going to be GUID partition map, at least in my case. <laughs> and for the name, you can go ahead and name it whatever you want. I picked SSD SanDisk Extreme because I thought that sounded pretty fast. So the formatting should take only a few seconds, even on my slow computer went super quick. And now our SSD drive is erased and ready to rock and roll. So we can close that. We can close this. And now under destination, we're going to pick our SSD drive. So we're going to click on it, find it there. SSD SanDisk Extreme in my case. 
and we're going to allow CCD, S, CCC to convert uh, the SSD SanDisk Extreme. So basically what this message is saying is that, hey, we're going to take this drive and convert it to a format that works with Mac. So totally okay, you need to do that. And then very important, um, if you have a, and very important, just turn the safety net feature off. I tried it with it on at first and it was just going so slow. And you don't need to install this helper, so just hit cancel to that. And then you wait. And it takes quite a while. For me, it took about nine hours. It almost took 10 hours to do this for me. It's gonna obviously depend on the speed of your computer and the amount of files that you're, you're cloning, but it will take a while. So now we're almost done. Our hard drive is cloned, everything's on it. And at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell our computer that we wanna use this drive as the brains of the computer, basically. It's gonna start up using this disk. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your Apple icon, then you're gonna to wanna to go down to System Preferences, and then find where it says Startup Disk, and then select the system you want to use to start up your computer. And then you're gonna to wanna to pick your SSD drive. And you're gonna to have to restart to make this change take effect. So we'll give that a click and hit restart. And we are basically there. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? So let's restart it and see just how fast our new tasty machine is looking. All right, so it's gonna be booting up off our new SSD drive. So 40 seconds to get to our password screen. A good improvement for sure. Uh, about 52 seconds to get all our icons up. Maybe 55. Okay, so the clock's still running at about a minute and three seconds we hit the Lightroom icon. Boom, just like that. We've got that first window up in Lightroom already. So I think we started this at around 105 on my timer there. So a little over 20 seconds and we had Lightroom open. Boom, look at how fast Chrome opened. Is your mind not blown? All right, and we'll just show you a disk speed test now. So before we were rocking around like 20-ish, 22 maybe on the right speed. So now we're over eight times, eight times faster than that. Yeah, I like it. Not the fastest computer in the world still, but way, 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 way quicker than it was before. And I don't know exactly what all these numbers mean, but I'm happy. And that's that. At this point, you could just carry on with life like this and be good to go. Um, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to delete my old hard drive, the iMac drive. Um, because this drive was still functioning, I'll still be able to use it as basically extra storage for my computer. So what you can do is format this drive. So you're just gonna wipe it, and then you can use it um, as extra space. So we'll show you how to do that. So you're gonna wanna go to Go, Utilities, find your disk utility icon, and very important at this point to make sure that you get the correct hard drive to format. Do not, do not, do not format your, S, your, your, um, your new SSD or you're gonna be in a bad place. 
So you're just gonna go, gonna wanna find your your old Apple hard drive, and you're gonna wanna click on the top layer. And in the video, you're gonna see that I changed the view. I don't do that. Just click on the top layer and erase it. So don't follow exactly what I did here and you should be okay. And you can rename it again at this point if you want. Just leave the format alone. Hit erase and <laughs> It's amazing how fast you can delete all that information. That's pretty scary. And we're done. So now you can see we've got a blank drive and we can easily now just drag storage to it painlessly. Pretty cool. And that's basically a wrap. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck.